Well, after its engine emission scandal, Volkswagen has now agreed to pay at least $1.2 billion in buybacks and compensation to settle claims from American owners. The company's cars with larger diesel engines were rigged to cheat on emissions tests. The settlement covers 75,000 Audi, Volkswagen and Porsche cars with three liter diesel engines. All right, time now to check in with Haley Wooden with business in Vancouver and Apple are doing far better than a lot of people had expected. Apple's quarterly earnings report blew estimates out of the water, in fact, set a record when it comes to revenue generation. Revenue for the quarter, which includes that busy holiday shopping season, up 3% year over year, driven in part by iPhone sales. We saw sales rise for the first time in a year, up 5% year over year. The bad news to this is that profit actually dropped around 2.5%. So Apple is seeing its profit margins shrink a little bit. And you can potentially attribute that to sales in other areas not doing as well as anticipated, whether it's the Apple Watch or iPad sales. All right. And a big IPO for a Canadian company, uh, Freshy, is now available on the uh, stock market. That's right. They hit the TSX yesterday and had a successful IPO, raised around $125 million. Shares were priced at around $11.50 per share. And the stock price actually closed 6.3% higher at the end of the day. So you can see that investors took well to Freshie's first day on the market. We'll continue to follow that as the weeks go on. With this uh, company, you know, going public, do you think we could see other Canadians following suit? That's a great question, and I think it really sets a positive tone when it comes to Canadian IPOs. Last year was a notoriously bad one for initial public offerings. This is the first big one we've had in Canada since Aritzia went public. So it certainly sets 2017 off on a more positive track when it comes to initial public offerings. All right, good news. Haley, thanks very much.